up everybody i'm kelsey and i love colorful things so we're back once again for another episode of the not so berry challenge blue generation it's a challenge of the sims 4 where you have one family for 10 generations and each generation is themed after a different color and i'm on the final generation our girl is all grown up we tried to go to high school with all of your guys' sims in the last episode unfortunately i had to delete some sims okay some sims had to go but this time hopefully there'll be a lot more of your guys' sims and we'll finally be able to see who we're gonna fall in love with. I saw a lot of love for Bran, but a lot of you said you really wanted River to choose and that you kind of missed my old like attraction system mod that I used to have. And I kind of miss it too. It's been a minute since I've had it. So I'm gonna double check if I can add it back into my game and see who River might decide to love. Also, if you're new here or you just haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Even if you think you're already subscribed, maybe just check. My dream is to hit 900,000 subscribers and every time you guys subscribe, I get that much closer. We're getting so close. Yeah, keep it up. So the mod that I've used in the past is Wonderful Whims. Because of the mod that I'm adding, we will see some cute new traits such as caregiver. Caregiver sims are driven by their empathy and compassion to protect and care. Unfortunately, others can exploit their good nature for their own ends, which totally suits. And we also have the artist, which I love because she is like, I think a secret artist and that she has an artist's heart, but she's like, no, I shouldn't be an artist. I should be a critic instead. And we also got a second caregiver. Honestly, she has two caregiver traits, which is amazing. I'm going to see when she goes to high school tomorrow morning who she has a crush on. I'm gonna see if she like just thinks anyone's attractive off the bat, like brand phrase. Ah, who died? Who died? Who died? My God, Grandma Amber's died. Oh, that makes you super sad. Oh no. Look at this little man. He's so sad. Oh my God, everyone's gonna be sad. Even Robin, who I don't know why Robin's out in the rain and being transported by Ivy. Who's calling now? What's no? No, 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 no. Don't give me another phone call. I can't, I can't do another phone call. God, this is gonna be such a sad day, but I am, I'm looking for love, baby. I want the love. For us brand shippers, she does find him very, attractive. This bodes well. I think you guys said it was Key. What about Key? Oh, she also thinks Key's attractive too. And River adores Key, which is very cute. The fact that she kind of thinks Bran and Key are cute is very interesting to me. What about Elise? No. Okay. No interest in female Sims, it seems like. We'll see. Maybe like she's gonna go and someone's gonna blow her away at school. I know that was like the best when that happened with Summer. So we're gonna see. Oh my gosh. Okay. Robin's like not feeling it. She's one in bedtime for sure. So let's uh, get put to bed by Ivy. Oh my God. I love that Royal's just playing with his toys in bed at midnight. Royal, go to sleep. And Fletcher, oh, he's like gonna go up to bed and cry. He wants to be friendly with Ivy and try for another baby? I don't know how I feel about that. Family of four kids, that's so many kids. I feel like River's gonna be the one with a lot of kids. I don't know if I can do it twice. Poor Ivy, just getting by. Why don't you tuck in your sweet little boy here? She's so stinky. Robin needs her diaper change for sure, for sure. But she's already going to sleep. So I guess we'll just wait. Maybe offer your wife a massage. Let's be sweet. I think we should just give her like a hug. Console about the death death in the family. Like they're just trying to cheer each other up. So sad. Oh, that they're such a good couple. This is so sad. I can't believe poor Ivy's parents have died. I mean, we could make grandma a ghost, okay? You came back as a ghost. Oh, he wants to wake his big sister up. Oh, okay, sweet royal. Oh, little royal berry coming into sister's room. I'm not even gonna fight it. He's just crying, waking her up. I think this is how she's finding finding out that her grandmother is dead. Oh, he's not gonna stay in here, come here. Royal's so sad. He wants to be friendly with River, that's so cute. We're gonna check on you. How you doing, baby? His sad little face is so sad. It's just breaking my heart. Look how sad she is too. Ugh, how's she gonna fall in love today? Ugh. All right, we're gonna give him some foodies. Little PB and J. Maybe go use the toilet quickly. Maybe also have a little leftover with him. Let's chat with him. Get to know, talk about his day. You can talk about your other sibling here. It's cute. Okay, oh, Royals learned level two of communication. Someone's gotta clean 
this at some point. Why don't we play together? It'll make us both have some fun. He's not feeling it. He's annoyed. Oh, Robin's up. Oh no, she's up. Why is everybody awake right now? She's at least feeling a little better, a little happier, having a deep connection with her little brother. She's gonna cheer him up a little bit. Okay, here they go. Oh, look at these two siblings. I think she does genuinely love kids. Like, I think she genuinely loves having a family and is so family oriented. Look at her dad watching the two of them. Rivers had some fun. Is she going to, she's gonna go swing on the swing. Okay, that's cute. I mean, sure, why not? She's having her fun before school today. She is tired, so this is unfortunate. We're gonna join her for school. Hopefully she is blown away by her attraction for someone. I kind of doubt it because <laughs> she is not feeling that hot today, but I am I want her to fall in love. I want to start the love story. Let's see if there's any more bull. This girl is not one of your guys' sims, so. Goodbye. Levi Price. I don't think that's one of your guys' sims. I'm also gonna age him up. I thought that I would be like finally getting your guys' sims here. Deshwan. I like this sim. I think he's kind of cool. I need to give him a makeover, but I don't mind this sim. That sim's okay. Is there anyone else inside the school already? Okay, we've got a couple here. No, Trace Abe. Deleted. And Christian Purry, no. How do we have so many Sims? I just can't believe it. Paige at least is here. There's literally only two kids that we like in this game. Vincent's here. We have not introduced ourselves to Vincent before. Yes, one of your guys' Sims has shown up to school and it is a male Sim and she likes men. Wait, he has the same hairstyle as your dad. I don't know how I feel about him. He does look a lot like her dad, but he does have the cutest dimples. Oh, she's feeling very confident. I believe in me. I made an, a good new friend. But okay, trusting in the universe. I guess keep talking to him. I'm gonna see if she likes him. She also thinks he's very attractive. Do you just think all boys are attractive, girl? We're gonna open Social Bunny. We're gonna add him as a friend. Bran says, River, I'm so happy to have a friend like you. Hey, Bran. Is Azul one of you guys? Oh my gosh, Azul's one of your guys' Sims too. He's pranking, which is kind of funny. So let's go cheerfully introduce ourselves to Azul. See maybe if like she feels something extra for Azul. She's introducing herself. Can she like just scan the room? Scope the surroundings. Yeah, scope it out, girl. See if you have any crushes on anyone nearby. They have amazing compatibility though. That one might be nice. She finds Kay attractive, Bran, Azul, and Vincent. She thinks they're all very attractive. Active. So I don't know what this is supposed to be. Maybe we're just gonna keep talking to guys until like she has a crush. Oh my God, <laughs> Brielle just got nabbed in the face. Oh my gosh. Well, let's have a deep conversation with Brielle. At least it's starting to finally look like some teens are here. We gotta go to class though, I think. So I guess goodbye boys. Look at her loving this attention though. She's just like, oh, he he he. Although I feel like she looks a little underdressed for school today. So we're going to change her fit really quick. Oh my God, look at them. The plastics <laughs> of this are all sitting together, all in plaid. I love that these two are kind of in neutral plaids and she's in like blue. Why Vincent are you sitting next? Is Vincent, are Vincent and Paige a thing? Cause I so could see that happening. And then like, what if Vincent and River kind of have a thing and it's a drama? I don't know. River's new skill in acting allows her to practice acting in the mirror with a microphone. Okay, so she's like in an art class so she can do acting. Brielle and Paige, are our besties. And then Azul, Vincent, and then we haven't met Deshaun yet. With the lights turned down for still life drawings, drowsiness sets in. River can't resist dozing off while staring at unmoving objects, trying to capture their shape. It's unlikely the teacher will notice if River takes a quick nap. Oh no, she's gonna try to stay awake. She would never. River fights the droopiness in her eyes to keep herself awake. It's a struggle, but she does manage to make it through class. Okay, good. Girly pop, you could maybe go take a nap over here. Instead of like flirting with boys, she's gonna go take a nap. There's no students 
from the second classroom as usual because all of them were young adults. But at least we're slowly starting to fill up our classroom with actual teens that we chose. Luckily, she's not hungry because uh, yeah, her lunch hour, she's spending napping outside the principal's office. I wish that she could be like flirting it up, you know, living her dreams, but we can flirt it up and live our dreams at the coffee shop after school today, which is her fave to go do. Let's just go into the bathroom and brush our teeth, wash our hands and apply some facial cleanser. And hopefully she'll like avoid being stinky. She's gonna be a little late to class cause she's so sad and tired. If I were the teacher, I would not blame her for being late to class. Weird, now Brielle is sitting next to Vincent. I feel like Vincent totally gives me like the boy that the girls fight over energy. He's a jock, you know? I like Deshaun. I think he's a cutie pie. I like his colored hair. I like his celestial top. It's just the pants and the shoes that really throw me. Okay, end of day report. River turned in some good work today. Okay, fabulous. She is so tired though. I really do want her to go out and make friends. Let's purchase a snack. Maybe there's like a soda or something that can help with her energy. Plum soda, this item will cool down your sin. Okay, I don't want to be cooled down, so no thank you. I want to get a coffee. Maybe there'll be coffee at the boba shop, so we should go to the boba shop. Let's cross our fingers that there is coffee at this store. All right, who's all here? What is this random Quentin Berry? Comedy night contestants. Oh no, they're all like adults here. Don't love that. Not a lot of fun to be had here in the rain at the coffee shop that doesn't have coffee. I mean, maybe when someone arrives, it might have coffee, but I feel like until then, it's probably a no. So let's like, I guess, wind down with some classical music. Nope, she's changing it. She's like, I would like classical, please. No, thank you. Okay, Whoa. this is literally the worst. There's a bunch of people here for comedy night and they're all adults. So that's lame. I guess we're gonna go home and I guess just take care of our needs. It's so boring. Uh, wanted to have a romantic experience. She knows she's looking for that like aha romance moment and she's gotten zero romantic interests. The girls did not call her to hang out. I bet they're hanging out without her. And she's cold and in the rain. And her grandma died. We're gonna cook ourselves something fun. What's her skill? Oh, she's like level three. Let's do, ooh. Carrot cake cupcakes, that kind of sounds fun. Cheese eyeballs, chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, let's go make chocolate chip cookies. Dad's cleaning up this mess that his son left. Robin learned how to reach. River's making her cupcakes or her cookies. I was hoping that she thinks cooking is fun, but I guess that might not be the case. <laughs> At least not so far. Oh my God, we're getting another phone call. It's Aspen, of course we're gonna chat with you, Aspen. All right, let's grab a serving of cookies. And why don't you watch TV? Aren't you gonna go eat your cookie in front of the TV and watch TV like I asked you to do? No, okay. All right, let's purchase some books on your skill of photography. Robin, it looks like is going to bed. Are you gonna watch TV now? Yeah, she's watching TV. At least she's enjoying this. She's checking her phone. She's feeling tired. Why don't you use a toilet and then maybe take like a nice little bath with soaks, maybe like a lavender foam and then just like pass out. She's falling asleep in the tub. All right, mom, why don't you go give Royal a bath over here? Fletcher's still crying in the bed. This family's just fallen apart without their matriarch. Ivy and Royal have a strict family dynamic. No, they don't. Ivy's giving a fun little bath to Royal. She's gonna mop up and then, her brother's here, come chat with him. Compliment his outfit, Oh, River's like, whatever, I'm going to bed. Oh, look at little Royal playing with the books, it's so cute. Ivy's chatting with Aspen. I don't know who you are, so you're not gonna hang out with me. Royal loves books, that's so cute. Why don't we read to Royal? Someone is playing our violin badly. Please stop. Who just aged up? Was that you? Aspen. I think Aspen just aged up because no one else did. It's no one's birthday, right? Friday is our little girl's birthday. Monday is our little boy's birthday. And then our teen daughter's birthday is not for a couple weeks. So technically, you know, she can chill. She doesn't have to go ham over like finding a love interest, but she just gives me the vibes of a girl that picks someone and sticks with them. Just hoping that someone would stand out. So far, I feel like our boy Bran is in the lead. Our girl River's like almost there with sleep. Brielle just became good friends with River. Hmm. 
Oh wait, why is Robin up? Girl, go to sleep. It's like, what is going on? Oh, he's having a cookie for dinner. What is going on? What is stinky in here? Okay, this is spoiled. This is also spoiled. Everything but the desserts is spoiled right now. We need to take this trash out. Sorry, King. I know it's out in the rain. Sucks to be you right now, I'm not gonna lie. He's got an umbrella. Oh God, are you okay, honey? Yeah, let's take some medicine, Fletcher. He's been like dizzy all evening. The wonders of modern medicine. Oh my God. Wait, is today what I think it is? Why is there a creepy little guy? Oh my God, it is. It is Harvest Fest. Unfortunately, I have the bug that Harvest Fest only is for like three people in the household, which makes me feel like we shouldn't celebrate it, but I feel like we will maybe just after school. We're gonna have our girl cook herself some food. It would be cute if they had like a little, I don't know, kitchen speaker to listen to music. This one, we could put it in green. Yeah, on the corner. That's where my kitchen speaker is. Let's listen to S Pop. Now she's doing it. Okay, she's her fun's going up. She's enjoying the two. It's look at her. She wants to hug someone from being gloomy. Okay, maybe someone at school might give her a hug. Oh god, we didn't get our food. I hate when I start cooking and I always like ne I never think far enough ahead. We're fine, this is fine. Okay, let's see who's at school today. Julius Cobb, I believe this is one of your guys' Sims. Okay, we got Vincent Gorgino again, back again. We got Brielle, okay. Let's get some food. Let's get like, I don't know, meatball tamale bites. It's kind of weird for breakfast, but she's doing her best. I wish that our cute ginger guy would just show up at school. So over not being able to choose who I have in my school, but let's, uh, friendly introduce ourselves to Julius Cobb. Maybe she'll find him like really super attractive and the search will be over. Oh, look, Paige seems like pumped. She's feeling really grumpy. Maybe we should try to like hug our friend. What do we think about you? Do we think he's attractive? Basic, he's basic? Girl has interesting taste. We're gonna try to hug our bestie. Seems like she ran away from us. Are we gonna be able to hug her? Nope. Awkward. Attractiveness alert! Riverberry stopped what she was thinking and went for Deshaun? No. That man has so many qualities that make River's heart race as if they were on a cross country marathon. Their handsome features meet River's desire so readily that it's all. What of all these hot eligible Sims? Deshaun, the one Sim that was randomized that I said you can stay is this Sim. She's. Fallen head over heels for. He's got blue hair. Okay, wait, now I see it. He, she does love the color blue, but still, girl, I have to give this Sim a makeover. So he wants to be a best-selling author. He's a slob and he's a rancher. Not a bad looking Sim. I'm not a big fan of the brows. So let's kind of give him something else. Ooh, I like the nose contour. All right, we're gonna do that. We'll give him like some little short lashes, some really small lashes. There you go. You know, he's a good looking Sim. Where's his hair? Okay, he's got like the purpley blue hair, which is fun. The shirt is cute. This, the bottom part, I feel like we need to do something else with. Let's see. Give him like jeans, you know, some normal, yes, Deshaun, jeans. I don't know how to feel about you as a person. I like the shirt, but also I don't feel like it matches the hair. What if I just don't make his hair blue? I feel like you guys will get mad if I don't make his hair this blue color. I like the blue. He's really cute without the blue hair and he looks a lot more normal, but I suppose it's kind of boring to have not the blue hair. I just want the hair and the shirt to match and they don't really go together. Gromari, I, I don't know if I want her to be a Gromari. I don't really like that he's a rancher. I think that's kind of random. Maybe we could randomize it again. Okay, goofball and a geek. That feels a little more accurate to what he's rocking. Let's see what your other outfits look like. Yeah, it's exactly what I kind of expected it to look like. Why don't we just like, if you're gonna go to prom, you know, maybe wear something a little bit cuter. It doesn't even have to be like aesthetically appealing. This guy gives me this energy, like he'd wear this to prom. <laughs> I really could have given him a better fit. I did this, so that's on me. That's on me. How come I keep making him worse? How do I keep doing that? I gave him matching purple socks. He's a colorful character. I'll give him that. I don't know why she would be the one to be like, oh yeah, that's that's my man. What's up with these creepy shoes? I'm giving him the shoes because that's creepy and it's funny. That's actually a normal looking outfit. I'll accept it. No, 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 no. The tiny shorts though. Really? Okay, 
I am not Deshaun's biggest fan. I'll tell you guys that. Oh, what a what a choice, Deshaun. The plaid pants are kind of working for me. The Vlad shoes are weird. I've given him a makeover. I want his hair different than the blue, but I'll leave it. I don't know how to feel. I feel like. I want to age him up. I don't want to marry Deshaun. I might allow her to hook up with Deshaun later, but I can't, I cannot. Listen, she can do way worse. It's just that I just don't get it at all because he doesn't fit. He's just so odd. Maybe that's why she likes him. Look at this kid. Are you real? This man over the rest of them. This is your man. Not this man that was made for you. This man that was made for you or this man with dimples who was made for you. Not even this hot girl, but this randomized, towny, 10th generation, whatever it happened boy with blue hair. That's what she's going for. Granted, she also has blue hair, all right? I kinda, I kinda get that. I don't know. This is so weird. Who is this? Who is this girl? I should have deleted Deshaun when I had the chance, really. I, I saw him and I said, no, you can stay. You look interesting, but no, no, of course she's got to flip and fall in love with him. And now I have to honor it because of course, go meet Deshaun, I guess. She's feeling so flirty, a breathtaking encounter. River's eyes were caressed by a truly magnificent shite sight as a particularly appealing sim just entered her view this fine specimen of a sim now has river's undivided attention as she tries to pick her job from the floor there are heart pounding moments but this one here is heart stopping her with Deshaun waving to her double-handed she's so flirty oh my god you really want this man to be the father of your children this goofy little goofball you're like uh-huh yeah they didn't even get along that well and now he's leaving extremely attractive over azul who has a mate or bran who has amazing amazing Compatibility, okay. Well, you gotta go tell your girlfriends, I guess, about him. So go go sit with them. Go share some secrets with your two best friends. Also, one of you suggested that I put the uh, birthmark back on for like her swimwear or like the times that she's not wearing makeup. I would love to do that. Unfortunately, skin details are just on your face or they're off your face. Like you can't put it on and off depending on the outfit. I wish that was the case. I feel like custom content versions would be, but I'm using like a sim version of that birthmark. So unfortunately it's not an option. She's gonna tell her all about her breathtaking encounter. They just became good friends. Let's get a hug from our friend. Paige, will you please give me a hug? Please, please, please. Aw, Paige did give her a hug. Well, that's nice. And she's comforting us, which is very sweet. I love that. Okay, we're gonna go play, apparently, a violin because we saw a violin somewhere and she loves violin. And she was gonna play it until the bell rang and she's gotta go back to classes. I don't know, guys. Do you guys like Deshaun? Do you think that he should be her ride or die? Do you think he should be who she cheats with? She didn't really ever get to know Deshaun. She just thinks he's cute. So it would be interesting if she has this like false idea of who Deshaun is, but then goes with the safe option of someone else. And then later kind of runs into him again and kind of says, oh, what, what once could have been? I was so floored by Deshaun. But then when she gets to know him, she realizes he's not like, really who I thought he was gonna be. And I like him a lot less. Maybe that's it. That's the story we could go with. I don't know. What do you guys think? It says one time affair. It doesn't say when. She could, in theory, have this affair very young when she's, you know, still figuring herself out. Not to say cheating's okay, but you know, I feel like it's a little bit more forgivable when you're young versus when you're like in a marriage with a bunch of kids. I mean, unless we just wanna go there with River, make it really dramatic. I don't know, but school is over and our girl is hungry and needs some fun. So we're going out. Maybe we'll do this arcade bar. Let's chat with our friends. I kind of want her out of her fitness clothes. Yeah, perfect. We're chatting with our other besties. These three are the queen bees of the high school. And we're gonna see 
what cool kids hang out at the bowling alley, which it looks like none of them do. And my friends just ditched me. My friends are not here anymore. They were like, yeah, we're not gonna be caught dead at a bowling alley in an arcade. That's so sad. Her mom would have loved it. You know what? We're gonna bring Ivy here and Ivy and our girl are going to go play the arcade game together. River's feeling confident, despite the fact that her friends just bailed on her. And they're gonna go upstairs and play video games together because her mom's a gamer. Oh. Oh, and look at River. She actually does seem to be having a good time. It is Thanksgiving, so maybe that's why they bailed. Mother daughter arcade gaming. Our daughter's not quite as good as us, but that's okay. Look at them jumping. If we ever didn't realize like their similarities, we're definitely finding them now. Honestly, let's just take our daughter home. Maybe like our mom came by to pick us up because we were sad. It is football team sports day. You could go there. She might just be like, actually mom, I wanna go to football team sports day. But she's gonna ask Brielle or Paige if they're gonna go and hopefully she'll run into them there but that's where we're going. Looks like no one can make it. They said no. That is so sad. I can't believe that just happened. Feels like every time she tries to go to like a teen hangout, none of the teens show up. Are they all hanging out without her? Juliet is here. Oh my God. Okay, so Juliet, one of your guys' Sims is here and so is Lorenzo Woods, which is perfect. Oh my God, Brielle said, I heard you and Royal Berry are good friends now. You're clearly so popular. Royal Berry is her little brother. That is so so mocking. Oh my gosh, the shade. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna introduce ourselves to these two new Sims. Ooh, it seems like he has beef with uh, Olive, which is kind of fun. Juliet is like also not feeling it. We're hungry. So let's maybe go over here and uh, order some food. How do you feel about Lorenzo? Extremely attractive. Okay, so we have another option. Lorenzo is one of your guys' Sims and she finds him extremely attractive which is interesting. And they do have good compatibility. Lorenzo Woods might be a really good contender. Maybe take a selfie with Juliet. Be like, whatever, my friends bailed. I'm gonna find a new friend. And she's like, Juliet, let's take a photo together. And Juliet's like, I don't really know you, but whatever. Look at her sad face. I'm dying. Let's change it up a bit. Okay, that's not a cute pic. Let's try another one. Why are they both looking mad? Let's have a cute pick. Just one cute one. That's a good one. There we go. Okay. Serena and Blair action. Why don't we like chat to Lorenzo? Discuss interests. Be like, oh, um, hi, Lorenzo. What's your deal or whatever? Attractiveness alert. Okay, we've got a new alert, guys. Wow, what a sim. Riverberry just stopped what she was doing for a moment and found herself staring at Lorenzo Woods. That man has so many of the qualities that make River's heart race. As if it were on a cross country marathon. She likes some goofy, what can she say? Their handsome features meets River's desire so readily that it's almost as if whatever created such a sim sculpted him specifically for River. Now the only thing left is to pick up her jaw and work up the courage to speak to such an Adonis. Hopefully Lorenzo will be kind enough to reciprocate River's feelings. Yeah, she's gonna keep trying to talk to him. Small talk, get to know him. She She's feeling very flirty, a breathtaking encounter. Jester personality archetype hints. Lorenzo would show signs of the Jester personality type. He's a bro, okay. So he's a bit of like, he's like a boy's boy for sure. And he's got the hero archetype. Oh my God, look at these two though. Is love in the air? I can see it, I can see it. Ask about his love life. Ask for some prom tips since prom is coming up on Saturday and no one's asked her to prom. Maybe she's gonna be trying out some new friends. Although she'll probably still like eagerly want her old friends. She's got two new crushes. Apparently it's a boring conversation. Maybe tell an urban legend. Let's spice this up. Tedious conversation. Do they not like each other? Does Lorenzo like not like it? They have good compatibility. I don't know. This is so funny. Express admiration. Why are they so over her? God, everyone is feeling over her. Is it cause she's cold? She's cold. Let's tell him a joke about Martians. Like I'm not tedious. I'm hilarious. What do you mean, Lorenzo? Nope, he is bored. Okay, well, that's awkward. Bye. She's gonna be like a dog with a bone. She's like literally not gonna give up until he loves her. She's like, he found me boring. I must have him.
She is in love. She has a crush on someone that doesn't have weird blue hair. Let me know what your guys' thoughts though are. I still like Bran as an option as well, but we haven't seen him all episode. He didn't show up anywhere, but Lorenzo's the new boy at school and our girl is hungry. She has low fun, low bladder. She's feeling terrible, which might be why she was not the best conversationalist at the event. But nonetheless, our girl has a crush and prom is coming up. Make sure to leave me all your ideas in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye.